Morning guys, this is Jeff at the Glorious Uncertainty on the 10th of February, Friday the 10th. There's a lot of all-weather racing today, but there's one race that um, that stood out for me. Um, and it's the 5.25 at Southall. Um, so that's one we're going to be concentrating on. Um, yesterday, pay for a day. Ooh, we just got home. We just got home. But... Uh, there was a lot of fuss about uh, Mighty Power, but when, when they're that good, you, it's got to ping at the distance, and pay for a day for me just pinged at the distance. Um, now, with the there were rule fours and things like that flying around with two horses being pulled out. So what I've done is settled the account at four points instead of four and a half at 92, so I've settled it up four to one, which I think was fair. Um, so today... Again, for those who have just joined, um, don't go bonkers. Don't go mad because we had a winner yesterday. It's it's crazy. And this is where gamblers trip up. You can't do it. You can't do it. I don't do it. You don't do it. It's you're, you're being a mug punter. If you do that, they love the haphazard approach. The bookmakers love it. Ours is a structured approach. And um, you stick to the rules, and to some people may find it boring, but, you know, that's the way it is. This is life, and uh, with a structured approach, that's the way you move forward and the way you can make money. So, the 5.25 at Southern, this is, MJK is in this, a horse that won for us the other week, or last week, um, was really getting to the end of its time, really, um, over the trip today's trip at six furlong so it's you've got to be careful with the horses like that because we had a winner on it last week it just made it home i felt last time shall i ask her is yeah he's okay but not particularly brilliant in class and there's a big cloud hanging over most of these and the cloud is the weight cloud weight added weight for this added weight for that for the winds for going up in class uh sorry for doing well in class uh or coming down from class the weight 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 so how do we play it we look for a decent stable that's in form which is bringing a horse in which is favorable on the weights i'm sure that stands to reason now the horse we're choosing is uh, Mosterlin. Mosterlin. Come from a stable in form. And unlike a lot of these, and a lot of horses you'll notice in the old weather, duck the track, Southall. This hasn't. It doesn't duck the track. But Sally Asker, J, uh, MJK are both dangers. And then Neptune's whatever legend. That again perform really really well it's down to eight to one now i think um but Mosselin, to me has pretty good consistent form and is well treated at the weights um coming back from a break and uh, it really does enjoy the trip so this is how we're going to play it for those who have um like i said only just joined us there's the win market, the place market, the each way market. And what I do is I do take on board what Tony said, one of the subscribers about going each way extra um, with Bet365. But I don't believe the horse will win. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I don't believe Mosselin will win. I think he stands a chance of winning, but to split the bet evenly. So we're only, we're only going to be playing four points. To split the bets evenly, I feel it's a waste of two points. If I don't feel it, I think it's very, very good to get a place, to get five play, one of the five places. If it wins, we grin and bury. But the fact of the matter is, I think it's too much of an ass for the horse to win, but I don't think it's much of an ass for the horse to place. So instead of wasting two points evenly split on a true each way bet, on each way extra bet, bet 365, we're not doing that. So we're putting the four points, four, on Mosselin to place in the first five. And this is how we're doing the bet. Subtle 525, Mosselin to place in the top five. Now with Paddy Power, 
Paddy Power. That is nine to four. So four points on at nine to four. Four points staked at nine to four. That's it. That is our bet. Um, also, thank you very much for the response with rate, your, rate yourself as a tipster. You are going to like what I'm going to do with this. I, I'm sure you will. But for those who have put things up and um, and say, I only do this, I only do that, I only do handicaps, or I only do... All, all I need is a number that you don't have to worry about that. And uh, Sorry. The way you structure or formulate a chance, a horse's chances, obviously, is very, very important. But I really just need that number. Don't, if you've already commented, don't replicate anything. I'm speaking to people who just want to do this and play when, when we do the experiment. So, again, for those who haven't rated themselves, and I know there's quite a few regulars on here, um, rate yourself. Rate yourself as a tipster out of 10. 10 being amazing, 3 being not amazing, um, and do it like that, but um, yeah, pay for a day one yesterday. That's our place bet today. Only one place bet. Don't go mad, don't be a mug punter. No, don't do that. Um, okay, that's it. Um, good luck with the bet. Um, I shall speak to you later and have a good day and bye for now. Bye bye.